At the injunction hearing in London, Dahab Shil said that for Barclays to close its account without justification was unlawful because it is the biggest provider of accounts to remittance companies in the UK. But Barclays' defence argued that as a commercial entity, it was entitled to close accounts by giving a 30-day notice period. The bank decided to scale back its provision of services to remittance companies globally in a bid to comply with regulations, after HSBC was fined $1.9 billion for breaching anti-money laundering controls. While the judge weighs up the arguments put by both sides, to have Shil can continue to operate. Uh, of course, the judgment has not been uh, reached. Uh, we are very confident in our case. We are very happy to inform our customer, those Africans that are watching the program, who, are li who live in the UK, international community, Oxfam, United Nations, others who support it, that we, can cont we are open for business. They can continue to use the Habshield services anywhere they like. A win is vital for the remittance company. It has opened an account with Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank for its corporate clients, but has not been able to open an account that would help the Somali diaspora send money to their relatives. Development agencies warn that cutting off this vital lifeline could lead to a humanitarian disaster in Somalia. One of the things that we've been asking Barclays to do is to extend the service that they're currently providing for Dahabshil and the other three money transfer organisations that they closed a couple of weeks ago for a further 12 months. And that, that window, that extra 12 months, is going to allow the UK Treasury and the government to put in place a safe corridor which will give uh, banks the confidence to resume their, their servicing of these money transfer organisations. In the meantime, whether Dahabshil's account with Barclays will remain open is now in the judges' hands. The judge will now take a few days to reach his decision on whether to grant an interim injunction to Dahab Shil. This would mean Barclays could not close the money remittance company's account until its competition claim has gone to trial. Barclays has said that if an injunction is not granted, then two days after the judge's verdict, it will close Dahab Shil's account. Natalie Theory, CCTV, London.